One of his three reasons that Hashem wants us to work hard for Parnassa is that it causes us not to sin. If we're busy working, so then it saves a person from chet, the importance of having a mission, of being busy, of not adam la'omol yulad, a person's born to work. It's so important to be busy. We know Chazal say, batala medil beziyama. Batala brings to craziness, to shiamum, it brings to znos. Batala is bad for a person. Hard work is good for a person. And the Mishnah describes Talmud Torah, person learning Torah, Derech Eretz, all the work we have to do to support our families, our yaf are good for a person, because when a person's busy, it's Mishkach Asav and it forgets him. There's a topic I want to talk to you about tonight that I'm exploding to talk to the Hevra. I, I, I literally dive in today, I pray this comes out right, because it's a sensitive subject, in Durham, if we were sitting in Durham, we would turn off the recording. If we're sitting here, there's a lot of people here, but it's all close, Chaverim. I have to share something with you that's, that's important. Laniyus Daiti, it's this Mishnah, and I ask everybody to please listen well to this. Viggy, if we, if we learn one thing together, the whole, we learned many things this year, the Siat of the Shmaya, but I want you to remember this well. Please, Ezra Shulman, please remember this and help me teach this, Ezra, because I think this Mishnah we have to spread to the world. Notice the Lushan of the Mishnah, my friends. It says that Torah and Derech Eretz is Mishkachas Oven. What an interesting Lushan. It doesn't say it's Matzil from Avera. It doesn't say it's Mechaper from Avera. Such an interesting Lushan, Kovi. It says it's mishkachas oven. It forgets sin. What is the Mishnah saying? Please hear this well, Rabbi Say. I have encountered some teenagers who would come to yeshiva and they have struggles maybe of looking at inappropriate things. And Baruch Hashem, rightfully, Abach is honest. Abach is not trying to hide. And Gav, I love you. And Gav, it's so nice to see you and your mishpacha outstanding. So I have met a bacher comes and he wants to talk as he should be open and honest. He's not hiding anything. And he wants to talk that he's struggling to maybe look at a certain thing. In yeshiva, and I, I, I want everybody to hear this well, we don't have in yeshiva programs where we all count together days that a person didn't look and we don't embrace this sugya. I'm so proud. One day you didn't look, two days, three days. You did look, you slipped. Now you didn't look. There's another word here that's vital. A big eight and these in Yanim. And this is not saying to hide and not to tell somebody. But a big eight, the biggest eight and these in Yanim is to gain an identity is to gain a yes identity. A Yid came to Yeshiva and he said, Kalish, a Yid I respect. What are you doing? There's a the book from today's day and age who might be tempted to look at stuff. So I told him I run very intense basketball tournaments, but really good ones. We run them up. We have a great, I told him about the Durham basketball, the DBL. I told him he was looking at me like from outer space. He just didn't know a mission in Avos. That tyrant derech eretz yegia shnei and mishkachas oven. A big gairim of the sin is identity. I am this. That taiva, that nesayin functions in a vacuum. Somebody's missing connections, relationships. Yes, things. Limarat taira. In embracing of tfila, enjoying himself, learning to play ball with friends in a healthy manner learning to interact in healthy manners. Dozens of people, countless people, many people, because they embrace the yes, mishkachas oven, the sin wasn't legeya. If we would have counted, Rebbe, I fell, I slipped. Stop, the, go for the focusing on it. Go for the saying, okay, now let's get a day of, of not. 
The focusing on it is goyrim more averus, often. If a person embraces a yes identity, and he, while he has struggles and he's having some tough times, but he can embrace, become a learner, become a davener, become a guy who plays nicely with his friends, become a good BBL MVP, engage relationship and friendships, engage a yes mission of being a Torah Dikamensh successfully, healthily, and work out, by the way, work out difficult feelings, go deeper. Why is he looking at Mishigas and nonsense? Why is he so drawn? He's craving connection, relationship, good interactions. If he can go deeper to a yes, to develop yes relationships, to develop healthy outlets, to feel good, to feel good. I have seen Bachem who are afraid to play ball. They're uncomfortable on the court. A much better Indian for him to work out is to get more comfortable on the basketball court. And that's working on Derek Eretz. He should work on when he plays basketball, not being so self-conscious. What's the crowd saying? That's working on Derek Eretz. Sheyigiyah shneim. When a person's yogeya on the yes and develops healthy friendships, healthy connections, is now closer to his mama. He now works out and feels better, has a love of self. All of a sudden, yigiyah shneim, the working on his nidus, the working on his etzem, which is all part of their heritage, the working on learning Torah and living Torah. And now he has a yes identity it doesn't say that it's mechaper averus. It doesn't say that is that is not over. Mishkachas oven. It's mishnoigeya. It's not noigeya. It causes sin to be forgotten. The sugya becomes not relevant, and every once in a while he'll have a slip, and the yitzhara will want him to make this his sugya. Make this your sugya. Talk about it and schmooze about it and worry. I clear out of the base medrash. Many books with the, deal with this topic, I clear out. I Guilty as charged. If, if I owe anybody money, you can come. I've cleared out. Many a safer from the base medrash, a safer. I'm guilty. If you're wondering where they go, I clear them out. Because many well-meaning people plop down svarim in the base medrash that Lanius Daiti are going against this Mishnah. This Mishnah teaches us of embracing a yes mission. Is there a sugya? Could there ever be of addiction? Could there be other needs? We could talk about it privately. But I want to talk for the rabbin of really, it has to be the yeshiva has to teach Torah in Derech Eretz. The yeshiva has to teach by recess how Bachem can connect properly. How to talk to, and to connect to your mama and your tata. Musr has to be learned in the yeshiva and interactions, relationships have to matter. We're studying Torah after all. And studying Torah means all the details of Torah. If Torah is learned and lived and studied and practiced, yigiyah the person all of a sudden has a beautiful relationship with his father. He works it out. He figures out the difficult elements in that relationship because he's learning Torah after all. The Torah speaks, he, he's learning Torah, he's learning all about Avinu. He's learning that Chamura, is Havizar b'mitzvah kala k'vah Chamura. And the Yerushalmi in Peya says, mitzvah Chamura is k'varav. So he's not a farce, he wants the hold of his father and love his father. He's learning Torah, I mean real. So he's learning it, living it. He's learning how to connect to his friend. He's not studying Torah. V'hav t'recha k'moycha z'a klal g'adu He's learning Torah Ernst, I mean. Practically, he's learning also how to connect to his friend, how to speak closer to his friend, how to connect, how to play ball with his chaverim, how to work on his temper, how to work on his sensitivities, how to be comfortable. He's learning, I mean it, Ernst, that he's learning Torah. Yafet Torah Derech Eretz, a Torah that's mixed with Derech Eretz. We have Hirsch always said, and it was always misunderstood, Tairim Derech Eretz means, it means a Torah that's relevant to life. Rev Hirsch wrote about it. It's a huge Rev Hirsch statement. Tairim Derech Eretz. 
Tayrim Derech Eretz means that every action we do is done through the lenses of Tayrim, is done through the way Hashem teaches us and trains us to do it. Yafet Tayrim Derech Eretz, if a person connects to Yiddishkeit in a beautiful way and learns through Taira how to connect to Chaverim, how to be a better brother to a sister, how to forgive himself for mistakes he made when he was 14. He's learning Taira. I mean, Eretz, the Yafet Tayrim Derech Eretz, the Taira that speaks to us how to live. And he learns to forgive himself and to love himself, to forgive Yenem. He learns Taira in Derech Eretz the way it applies to his life. All of a sudden, this person has a, has a different reality. Not he no longer is nechshal. It's nishmai geya. It's not nechshal. A guy wrote me a letter, a tire of entire. It was one of the most painful letters I've ever read, and I've seen many painful letters. And he wrote about his struggle not to look. Man and I was yoyred, that was his biggest sin, the Yetzirah. He had read too many books about not looking. And his biggest sin was the Yetzirah was getting him not, that, that you don't look. I, and he was counting. I told him in the street, stop focusing on yes, looking and not looking. Start thinking in the street, what about your DBL team if you're going to win the championship? Start getting busy with your life. Start thinking how you're going to connect better to your brother who you've never had an honest conversation with in your life. You have a wonderful Kylo brother. Why have you never spoken honestly with him? He's had the same challenges you had. Why haven't you had one honest conversation with him that you sat down? We both went through the same things. You've never had one in the street. What are you attracting, looking and not looking? Not looking, you're also avoiding your life. Don't look, don't not look. Get busy with Tyrim Derech Eretz. Get busy embracing your life. This guy who wrote me the letter got busy with his life. Today, he, he's not Nogeya. He's Meshkachas Oven. The Sugya, he doesn't not look. It's not Nogeya. It's irrelevant. He's not interested. It's Meshkach. It's not his parish anymore. That could take a long time. And we have to be busy creating a truthful life. That we're, that we're echad b'tev, echad b'lei, that we're comfortable. What am I uncomfortable? This sin flourishes in a vacuum, in a vacuum of truth, in a vacuum of comfort, in a vacuum of resolving, in a vacuum that the ty- I don't have tyrim their hearts. I may study Tyra. The guy says I learn and I still have trouble with it. Does your Tyra their hearts, does the Tyra talk to every detail of your life? Are you better now with your brother, with your sister, with your mother? If you're not, it's not Torah im derech eretz. You're learning Torah, but it doesn't connect to your day-to-day life. So then it's not mishkach asavin. But Torah im derech eretz, I have seen this countless times. Mishkach asavin, all of a sudden, it's not Nagy anymore. What? Look, when? Who? What? He, all of a sudden, the guy's close to a mama. You think somebody deeply connected to his mother? What should he look? What a pretending relationship, a, a, a absolute farce. He's look, he, he's not interested in pretend. We, we're all human beings. We crave connection. A human being like Taiveyais Adam Levadoy. A human being from the moment he's born craves connection. A little baby smiles at anybody who touches him or smiles at him. From the second we're born, we crave connection. And a Yid who takes Tyra and learns how to build the relationships in healthy, comfortable ways and resolves his relationships, all of a sudden, the Shkachas Oven, that Sogya disappears. It's not Nagei like anymore. It becomes irrelevant. Thus, in the Mishnah, this expression is gorgeous. It has to be learned in our generation, maybe more. Every mission is relevant to every generation, but it's worth it to be born in Hebra. To hear a mission that says, Mishkachas of and sin is forgotten. It's irrelevant. Mishkachas, it's irrelevant. It's forgotten. That's what we're striving, to build an identity. A Bacher will call me, nobody should be afraid. He'll say, Rebbe, I'm struggling. I'm looking at, my... that's not your problem. You're at home. You're stressed out. You and your father haven't sat down for a real conversation. Why haven't you had a real conversation about this, that stress, and that? That's not the sugya. You, that's not your sugya. 
Yafet Tairim Derech Eretz, take the Taira and its ideals and values and shine it on every aspect of your life. Don't be afraid in any aspect. And work it through. And Mishkach then all of a sudden, that sugya that only flourishes in a vacuum, in a vacuum of real connection, in a vacuum of a person being a ben Taira, a Shalim inside and outside, feeling comfortable with his brother and sister, feeling comfortable with his tat and mama, he has the Torah, has now developed all aspects of his life, Mishkach HaSoven. All of a sudden, sin is long forgotten. I'm not putting down any Svarim. Great people wrote Svarim. I'm not making a clown. I'm talking different stages and ages. I'm big yid, much bigger than me, made Svarim. They're wonderful and for the right time, place, person, and they're, everybody's his own. This Indian and the Svarim speak about this too. I just can't know. I don't can't read through every book. So I'm very scared. I want somebody in the base Medrash to come to our yeshiva and develop a through and through identity and develop. I, I, I certainly worry the youngster that's reading about yes, no, no, yes, that that's, that's, he's, he's busy with the wrong sugya. Instead of trying to be comfortable on the basketball court, which is the shayrish of all his issues, he's in the wrong sugya. So I want him to be busy with the right sugya. Yafet Tairim Dechertz. First, Tilly tells me how we can work on being more comfortable on your DBL team as the backup shooting guard. Later, we're going to talk about other sugyas, a different time. And then he works out and resolves and is Michael himself and sees the goodness there and develops healthy relationships and lets the Torah flow through every part of his life. The sin by then is forgotten. After I tell the guy, come back after you're comfortable on the court. When he's comfortable on the court, he, he says, what was the problem I was supposed to talk to you about? The sin is long forgotten. Let us all be zeichet to embrace a mission of being a person who has Torah in their heritage, that we allow the Torah to come through every part of our life, that we allow the Mahalach of Torah, the Derech of Torah, the Psokim of Torah, the, what Hashem's demanding for us to uh, come through every part of our life, that it's Bechin and Meshkach oven. It's my honor, Rabbi Say. It's my honor. I want to share a Ben Torah. Really, I want each guy, we should go around the whole Zoom, let each guy get up and share the Vrei Torah. It's, I'm the loud mouth here talking. Yossi Greenspan should speak one night. Avrami Horowitz the next night. Zevi Garalo should have spoken six times already. But I'm a loud mouth and it hasn't happened yet. So what I'm going to ask is, where Zeich Zevi Katz, this precious Kayan Ben Tyra, he gives a share on others. Many get to hear him often. I ask Zevi to share with us for a few minutes a Dvar Tyra, and then I want to share another Indian that I'm very worked up about. But first I want to hear from Zevi. Zevi Katz, you're unmuted. Hello. How, on? How are you, Zevi? Good, good. Baruch Hashem. Thank you, Rabbi. Thank you. I am muting. The floor is yours. Okay. So, first of all, I wanted to thank Rabbi for everything that Rabbi does for me and everyone who's on the shear. And um, I specifically want to be Makir Tayyip for this Kufa. I've, I've spoken to many, many people who are involved with the shear, listening daily, and the amount of people that get chizik from Rebbe during this time, twice a day, the Rebbe comes on with a simcha and a geshmak and gives everyone uh, such an amazing feeling about Yiddishkeit and positivity. Um, it's just tremendous, and we're all makir taiv, and thank Rebbe for that. Just wanted to share a, a short var. <clears throat> the Mishnah, the first Mishnah in Parak Beis that we just said, says, Havizayr b'mitzvah kala kivichamura she'ena toyadea matan tzcharen shal mitzvah. So a person should be zayir in a mitzvah kala, just like a chamura, because he doesn't know the matan schar of mitzvahs. So the obvious question is, um, so what's kala and chamura? If, if you're talking to a person right now who doesn't know the matan schar of mitzvahs, he doesn't know which mitzvah is more important. So what's kala and what's chamura? So I think the simple understanding, which many of the Mepharshim speak out, is that a person thinks a mitzvah is kala, something that comes easy to a person. So you should be zayir in that Indian just like it would be a mitzvah that seems hard to him because you don't know the schar of mitzvah. It's HaKadosh Baruch who did it bedafka that you, should be, that you shouldn't know which mitzvah is chamer and kal. So then you'll accomplish all the mitzvahs and a person through that will be shalim in all his mitzvahs. But I was thinking maybe we could say a little bit different. 
the the we say Reb Chananya ben Akasha, which is the last Mishnah in Makkah, so we say it at the end of every parak. So he says, Ratz Hakadosh Baruch Hu Lizakis as Yisrael lefika chirbalem tayro mitzvahs. Hakadosh Baruch Hu wanted to give Klai Yisrael schusim and merits, so he added on tayro mitzvahs. So that, there's a very simple question on that as well. Does that? It sounds like Hakadosh Baruch Hu just like made up mitzvahs to be mizak Klai Yisrael. That, that, that's, that can't be pshat. Baruch, every mitzvah has a has a pshat for it. It's keneged varim. It, it's for a reason. What, what would it mean that Hakadosh Baruch Hu is just um, lezakis as Klai Yisrael, so he added mitzvahs? So I was thinking that maybe we could say that when HaKadosh Baruch Hu created every person, so every single person has his own kaychis, his own qualities, his own, the way he connects and relates to, to mitzvahs differently. So HaKadosh Baruch Hu by do it, but decided that he's going to do the biggest taiva and create many types of mitzvahs, that every single person could connect to mitzvahs in his own way. By having mitzvahs that relate to chesed and tefillah and taira, so now this person's born, he has more of a kesher to tefillah, so now he has a way to connect to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that person in, in Taira, that person in Chesed. So that, the gift of HaKadosh Baruch Hu being Mizak HaKla so is that HaKadosh Baruch Hu said, I want all my children to be able to connect to me in a way that's great, to, that's close to them and easy to relate to. So therefore I'm going to be Mar Bet Taira Mitzvah for all of them. So I was thinking that maybe we could say that's Pshat in the Mishnah. Havizar Be Mitzvah Kala Kibachamura means that when a person looks at a Mitzvah Kala and he says, oh, this Mitzvah comes light to me. A person has to wake up and realize that HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave this to me, bedafka, that it should be Gishmak for me. Look at your mitzvah kala as a chamura. It's not a mitzvah kala. If you relate well to tefillah, you relate well to taira, you relate well to, to, to being about tzedakah. So that's not a mitzvah kala. HaKadosh Baruch Hu didn't give the schar of mitzvah so that the mitzvah that you relate to, you could work on and grow, and that'll bring you to be Mekai and many more mitzvahs. So, you know, when we look at mitzvahs, a lot of people sometimes would say, They'll look at a mitzvah that they're good at, and they'll be like, oh, I'm good at this mitzvah, so let me work on something else. No. HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave you mitzvah, to be, a mitzvah specifically that you're strong in, that you can relate to so well. And if a person works through that, then that's going to cause his connection to HaKadosh Baruch Hu to come, through, to come from that mitzvah, and that'll push him to be Mekayim Kal Terakula and all the other mitzvahs. So if a person looks at a mitzvah kala, kivachamura, he takes that, that, that look, that every mitzvah, that I, even if I think it's kala, it's not. Mitzvahs are in kalas. All mitzvahs are chamuras. That means they're all chashuv to you. So now if a person looks at it like that, then Emir Tashem, he'll be zaycha to use those mitzvahs that he's close to and connects to and bring him way closer to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, And then ultimately he'll be able to be mekayim all the mitzvahs through that. So we should all be zaycha to be able to look at every mitzvah if that comes natural to us. Kikala, kichamura. And through that we'll be able to be zaycha to Hashlemus and all the other mitzvahs. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Echad v'tev, echad v'lev. Beautiful. A tremendous ben taira that can articulate divrei taira. Beautiful. Thank you, Zevi, for all the ideas. Were pleasant, true, thoughtful. Thank you, Zevi. I want to thank Ari Rosen from Montreal. I thank him for being a Yisrael Mayor Katei. We're Zaycha, you're here. Thank you, Yisrael Mayor, a lot. Ruven Boleg, thank you for being here. Mayor Forster's here. I can't wait, Arye Barnett, to share with you, Irvin Carey, Be'ez Hashem, I hope already tomorrow night. I don't know about the Chevra, I'm Makel already tomorrow night, Be'ez Hashem, we're loud music. And I want to hear, I want to hear, Irvin Carey has a new song the Chevra hasn't heard yet, that's an answer to Tati, my king, Hashem's response. And it's a marvelous, a gorgeous song that I want you to hear. I hope that he'll do it. I want to thank Aaron came on the other night and did an ode. It was so precious to see a comfortable Bentayra. Aaron, that meant a lot, the ode you did the other night. I thank Dovi Pfeffer for being here. I want to continue on, Hevra, with this Mishnah and say as follows. The Mishnah goes on. It says, we're going to do Be'ez HaShem, if the Olam allows me, this Mishnah and the next Mishnah. On this Mishnah, we'll finish rather fast. And the next Mishnah, I have something that I want to share with my children. I want to share with the Hevra. It says in this Mishnah, it says, Kol matzibur, that whoever is, who's Isaac with the Tzibur, you Oiskim Amayim L'Shem Shamayim. Be Oiskik, be Isaac, be busy with the Tzibur L'Shem Shamayim. Shez Chos 
the schos of their fathers, Messiah will help them out. Vitzitkasam and their righteousness, Oimedes La'ad, will stay forever. Many Mepharshim learn. It's a difficult Mishnah to read. I want to say what many Mepharshim learn and something Zevi Gerala, that's Emes. Chaim will listen like this. There are many times, Chavra, we feel overwhelmed that we can't do for the tzibur, we won't be able, we won't be successful. It's important to know what we all have ashkachas Hashem, and we all get tremendous siyata d'shmai in our life. But when you work for a tzibur, l'shem shamayim, not for yourself, not for your own gains, but when you work for a tzibur, l'shem shamayim, z'chos avoysam isayasam, even something you weren't zayche to know pshat, you aren't zayche to understand properly. But all of a sudden, you have the zchos of everybody in the tzibur and the zchos of all their fathers. You don't just have your own zchuyais and your own zchos of your own avais. You don't just get your ancestors and your zchuyais, which is a lot. But if you work for the tzibur l'shem shamayim, so that, Yaakov, I went off. I apologize. I apologize. I pressed the button. Oh, I don't know what I just. Oh, perfect. Thank you, Yaakov. Yaakov saved the screen. Oh, I don't know what I just did by accident. I pressed the button. I asked Mechila Klotzi Gay. The kids Rabbi say that when a person works for the Rabbin Lashem Shamayim, everybody's parents and grandparents, we all come from great people. And the schos of everybody, Misayasam helps them out. And the tzedkos of everybody gives new abilities and new capacities. The Gemara describes that Rabbi Yosef was Rosh Yeshiva. He thought of a pshat that he was bothered by for 22 years. Because all of a sudden, the vader of Yosef was Rosh Yeshiva, L'shem Shamayim. All of a sudden, besides his own merits and the merits of his parents and grandparents, Everybody's chos avos chips in. Anybody who's been involved in a tzibur sees hashkachas Hashem. That's lo yuma. That's wild, wild hashkachas Hashem. I remember early in my career in yeshiva, coming from Eretz Yisrael, and experiencing things I never saw in my life. Hashkachas Hashem, crazy stories. I didn't understand it till I thought that tzchos ha-tzibur. All of a sudden, it's not your own merits. It's not just your parents get you a long way and your grandparents. But all of a sudden, any all the tzibur together's merits give you, if somebody says a shir l'shem shamayim, if they say a shir to show off their own knowledge and how smart they are and to teach everybody the rebbe's in ilui, if that's the purpose of a shir, okay. So then good luck. But if somebody says a shir and thinks about the Bachram, he thinks what does the Chevra need to hear? And he's mevatl himself to the task. He's Isaac L'shem Shamayim. Then he'll think of Shtik Luch the exact right Shtik Luch He now has Chos Avaisam, Isayasam. Now everybody's Chuyas contribute to his success. A guy told me, one of our sophisticated chevr in our chabura was there at the odes the other night when we did odes to one another. And he said it was like a life-changing experience, he told me. And he told me three things. He's a sophisticated guy, one of my most sophisticated friends. And he told me I saw three things that night. And he elaborated. But the first thing he told me is he was dazzled from Hassan Danan, from Ezra Shulman. He said to see somebody so talented, working his talent to elevate, to encourage, he said the use of talent blew him away. I want to tell the Hebrew something. Avram Avinu was a massive warrior. Avram Avinu beat the four strongest kings, the four kings who ousted the five kings. Avram won a war. He was a gifted warrior. When a person is dedicated lemanat sibur, Hashem gives him endless talents because it's not his own merits anymore. Now he has the merits of the whole sibur. It's pasha to me. 
Ezra's working. He's talented. He's, he's crazy talented. It's Ernst. I'm not going to deny it. But a person's thinking about helping a chevra and cares to help a group and is going to do what it takes. That guys should come together, should still be connected to yeshiva, should get the covet of saying odes on each other, should get celebrated. And he's focused on that. Skill emerges, their talents Hashem gives and abilities, it's no longer just from within. It's no longer only our own merits and our halig parents and grandparents' merits. Now you get the schus of the whole rabbin. You, can, you get new abilities, new talents, new understandings, new yechilas. We said from Reb Nassim Svi Finkel that achrayis get koichas, that responsibility gives strength. There's another vart being said here that somebody who works l'shem shemayim, one tanai is work for the tzibur, not if it's for yourself, you don't get those merits of the tzibur. But if somebody works l'shem shemayim, always keep that in mind. Zechos avaysam isayasam. The zechos of everybody's avays, do you know the type of merits you get in order to have the siyat of the shemaya to do the jobs that you need to do? You get Yechaylis. Avram Avinu becomes the greatest warrior of all time because he gets the merits. He gets the merits. He becomes a Gevaldig warrior. He gets the merits of the Tzibur. Zchus Avaysam, his own merits, which are Ein Lashayah, but Zchus Avaysam is Hayasam. I want to contrast it to the next Mishnah, Rabbi say. And with this, we'll close with the Negan, but I want to contrast it to the next Mishnah. The next Mishnah says, Havi Zahirin Barashus, be careful with government. Don't be, be a little wary of government. They only do things for their own self. When it's good for them, they look like they're your best friend. But when he's under pressure and do arrest, they're not there for him. Rabbi say like this. So certainly the mission is saying to be wary of government, but it calls government rishus. Very important. It's not just talking about government. Zevula, thank you so much for being here. Ezra, it means a lot that you're here, the two brothers. Thank you, Zevi and Ezra. Thank you. It means a lot that the brothers are here. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Ezra. Rabbi say, it calls government rishus. It calls government rishus, and it says be careful with rishus. Rishus means people are in their, they, the, the two types of Rishos, they both mean the same thing. They both have the same idea. Rishos means that their people are Rishos Atzman. They're in their own Rishos, Bale Gaiva. They're in their own stature. They have their own Rishos. It calls government, it doesn't say, the other ways to say government, but it calls government Rishos. It's talking about ready people that are stand in their own Rishos. People on this God, the Tzibras in this Rishos, and they're in their own Rishos, in their own property. Word of Rishos means permission. It means people, Chaim Augustine, who always have Rishos, they're above the law. We're all beholden to the law, they're bigger. So if either Rishos means permission, or it means their own Rishos, and David Achasi, it's the Mishnah saying, be careful for Bale Gaiva. There are two people doing for the rabbin. If somebody does for the rabbin, Moshem Shamayim, he has Meiradikakaychus, tremendous powers is given. He now has Chusa Rabbim on his side. But if somebody's called Rishos, a Balgaiva, who's, who's doing things, he's doing for the public, but it's Beged their Rishos, he's above the law, he's above the people, he's more powerful, he's from the Besser mention. He's from the higher class of people. He's a different class of person. Him and his mishpacha, their episode, a cut higher. Be careful from such a person. Be very wary. If you see Gaiva, our leader, Shaul Amelech, was a leader because he was nechbal akelim, because he was hiding. He was a reluctant leader. He took it l'shem shamayim. We're Zaych and our Chabura. We have a leader, Rabbi Brownstein, Shlita. The man took, did everything he can because there was a need, Achrayis. It was never a position. 
It was never about stature. It was never about a stella. There was a big void, and we needed somebody to step in. I'd never seen something like this in an organization in my life. There was a void, and the Yid Pashat, the Yid Pashat got involved and worked and worked so hard in every way that was necessary because it was needed, because there, there was a void and a gap, and there was a chryas needed. That's the spitz. And such a person is has a wild siyat of the However, somebody whose dealings with the masses are beged their rishos, you can see that their behavior, that they have a certain gaiva, and they're above and more powerful. Be very wary of them. They could be decent people, but the gaiva, in their stature, in their position, that they pull out of their position. Be very careful, such a person. Even when they're so helpful and doing so much for the, their underlings, for the people under them, it's only for their bishas hanasan, it's only when it's good for them. But they'll never be there for you, bishas dechakai, at difficult times and crisis. When it's no longer favors them, they won't have your back. This is an elementary point in, in working with the tzibur and working with the rabbin. It never should be used as a rishus, as a besser mensch. I always had trouble in camp often that people that need golf carts, they're walking around a lot. I never was able to go on a golf cart. Mecha teisi, mecha teisi, you're in a car and he's walking. It cannot say. My precious friend, Ray Beitler, his golf cart would get loaded up because he shouldn't walk. He shouldn't be driving. So he would load it up. People coming on. That's a person. That's a person not trying to be misguided. But very important, Rabbi said, when you're working for a rabbin, that it should be in a manner of humility, not being misguided, not lording over a tzibur, not shika'afra la kol teya. Narvas, there's opportunity to do for a rabbin. There's opportunity, it's wonderful. And don't feel, the one who's supposed to work for the rabbin can also, can all, can feel bedavka unequipped and not capable, it's too overwhelming. And you want the humble guy who feels unequipped. He's the guy and gain chizik, the Mishnah talks to him. You see a need, you see a tzairich, and you're doing it with shem shemayim, know that the schos of the rabbin will help you out. But somebody who grabs positions with gaiva and rules and puts down people with gaiva, be very wary of the person. Watch your back. Even when they're close, it's only near and kaiva. It looks like a great friend. You look so tight. That's only bishas hanasam when it's good for them. But they ain't adam bishas But they won't be there for the person in his need. This rabbi say, we speak in the Torah often that the midah of a leader is that he's made on his mistakes. He has humility. Ashrei Yadar, that the Nasi is nice and lave to admit his shagig. Humility. David HaMelech is the leader because when he sinned, he admitted his sin with Bathsheba's quote-unquote sin. Yehudah's layasu shevet mi Yehudah, he admits. That humility to admit to admit mistakes, that humility is actually the one we want in a position of power. That person has the humility, the shola melech nechbala kalim, that he's hiding is a reluctance for the position. He's not grabbing, he's not lording over people. He doesn't feel higher and better than others. That's a position to impact and help. However, the person who's lording and with gaiva puts himself at a great stature, he's so much better and bigger, that one be very weary. Have he's here in Bereshus. Somebody, such a person functions. They always have permission. They always are the ones who give permission. They essentially are in their own Rishus. Have he's here in Bereshus. Be careful of such people, dangerous people. Be very, very careful from such a person. So Rabbi Sai, these are the two Mishnas, powerful Mishnas that I wanted to study with the Chevra. That I, that I felt to study with the Chevra. I thank Zevi Katz so, so much for his precious words. I really look forward. Ellie Goldberg, we need one night. Please, please prepare. One night, I badly want to hear from you, Ellie. So if I can, 
I'm a little putting you on the spot, not so nice of me, but okay. I hope you're Michael. But if you one night can share with us, Ellie Goldberg, with Ireland would be Nene a lot, I'd appreciate it. If I, Ruvain Bolig, it means a lot that you're here. Thank you, Ruvain, for being here. It means a lot. Thank you, Ruvain. Thank you, Yosef, for being here. Thank you, Srilly Ruben, for being here. Let's, I'm unmuting the chassan. Srilly, how are you? I'm good, Baruch Hashem. Can I ask you a favor, Srilly Hassan? Yeah. Well, could you sing a song for the Hevra? I could. You choose the song. Thank you for agreeing, Srilly. Thank you. Do you want to choose it, Srilly? You choose it. Either way is good. I, we want you to choose it, Srilly. Um, I just I just made a song like a week ago. Should I should I sing that? Could you please? Okay. Zaya Osahashem Nagila Nagila Vinis Mechala Zaya. That was gorgeous, really. That was gorgeous. When did you compose that song? Um, like a week ago. That is stunning. That is stunning. Thank you, Remy. Thank you, Srilly, for composing and sharing with us. That really, I can't wait. Tomorrow night, we'll hear together songs with music. Excellent. Thank you, Srilly. Thank you, Remy. If we could ask the Guri Mishpacha, we're going to hear, I'm going to ask Yosef Mammon's hiding, but he, I see he's on. So I'm asking Yosef will speak in the next few nights. We'll hear from Ellie Goldberg and Yosef Mammon, Beze Hashem. If I can, let's ask the Guris if they would sing. Oh, right here. Hello, Chaim. Hello, Shlomo. What's up, Rabbi? Excellent. Excellent. How are you? Doing good. I'm doing good. Chaim, we haven't crashed Manny and Shlomo's Chavrusa shaft in a while. Maybe tomorrow we'll both hop on. Yeah, I'm down. I would love it. <laughs> Don't tell them. Keep it a secret from Manny and Shlomo. Um, you guys picked the song. Picked already. <laughs> Awesome, I'll share. Oh,
Wow, I only hesitated going on. I was like hoping the high part would start again, Chaim. <laughs> Thank you, Chaim. Thank you, Shlomo. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Let's find Matt. Ezra Shom, we, not, we need to hear Matt. No, Yo Rahmani. Thank you. Ariel Mammon, thank you for being here. Thank you, Ariel. Rafal Moyel, thank you for being here. Ari Mel, let's get to Matt. Shua Weiss, Binyamin, you ask him? Let's get to Matt, Binyamin, Lowy. Let's find him, Yak. Oh, oh, I saw him. I saw him. Ruvain, we're getting to Matt. Ruvain. Groovy, Ruvy. Unbelievable. Matt, how Unbelievable. are you? Amazing, Rabbi. What a sheer. That was fire. <laughs> such good singing after everything. We're in such a good place. Baruch Hashem. I'm very appreciative. We've seen so much chesed Hashem amidst difficult times, but we see chesed to be able to fabrang with the guys is just something precious. I'm excited. I hope tomorrow night people can bring on instruments. Already 8.30 and we can, we can fabrang together, Matt. Thank you for being here. Definitely. What songs on your mind, Matt? Um, we could obviously do for Menachem, since we love him so much. He wanted to hear. Do it again better, Matt, if you just mess up the song. Rabbi, right before you called me up, I, I, I'm clearing if I can share this because there's stickle boasting, but please allow me. Can I boast for, for a second? Please. I'm just feeling the love over here. I'm blown away by this. Right, Mamish, right before you called me on, my mother saw this sticking out of the door, and I had just walked into my to the apartment here, and I didn't see this. And Mamish is a note from God, and it's so amazing. I usually, it says over here, Matis, yo, please dab in Kabbalah Shabbos for us all on your porch. It would so inspire us. We desperately need your inspiration. The inspiration, your very grateful neighbors at the premier house. I love, this is the kind of note though, I love not knowing who put it here. You know what I mean? It's like Hashem directly. Usually I'm the, it's good to know that people are even listening because usually I'll go out there and scream like, I'll get involved, I'll scream, I'll say my own Peshatim and Kabbalah Shabbos. It's nice to know like someone's listening. That's great. <laughs> That's outstanding. Amazing. That's outstanding. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Matt. You pick us all up. You pick us all up. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. I want to thank the Oilam very, very much for coming and coming to learn. Thank you, Ashi. Thank you, Yaakov, for setting up. Thank you, Manny, Maishi, and Hudi for listening so often to their father. Thank you, Yitzchak Shalom, for being my shachin by our outdoor minion with our masks for being in the square and triangle a few over. It really means a lot that the guys are here. Yoel, unmute Yoel, Yak. Yoel, how are you? Thank God, Rabbi. Thank God. Thank you so Excellent. much. Rob, I love the gurus and Matt tonight. That's a... Big that's a night, big night. Srilly, Guri, and Matt is like a... Answer the night. Answer the Ruben. One, two, three. I think we're going to end. Yoel, are you... It's late. It's already 9.23. But if the guys give me Rishos, we had Zevi Katz tonight, tonight, and then we had Yol Rachmani type on. Do you mask him one more song, Yol? I think we need to. Think Let me see to. if my cousin is masking him. I'm going to try this. Let me find Ari. Uh, is he here? Yeah. Let's look. You see him? Cuz Ari Nussbaum. Let's see if I could find him. He may have left. The shear was over. 
Ari, let's let's see if the cuz is here. Ari Nussbaum. Hey, Rebs. Ah, uh, how are you? Oh, how are you? You have one beautiful song in you for the Hevra. Does Rebbe want to pick it? I want you to pick it, Ari. I don't, I don't really, uh, I'm like blank right now. I'll make you a deal. It's late. I'll make you a deal. Tomorrow night we get our guitars, Ari. Tomorrow night with your guitar, you pick something. Deal? Deal. Thank you, Rabbi. I have an outstanding night. We will learn 2 o'clock tomorrow. Tomorrow night at 8.30, we'll be with musical instruments. If you still machmir by night somehow, so I ask Mechila in advance. But 8.30 tomorrow night, we'll get to hear short divrei Torah and much more Zmiris with instruments. Have a great, great night, Rabbi Say. Thank you.